So a quick video about why I left this great company called Melton and why I'm pursuing a different path in trucking. Uh, honestly, the prime reason and the, probably the most obvious reason is better pay. Um, I got a pretty good opportunity, very enticing and tempting opportunity to uh, start with a different company, a much smaller company. Uh, so, you know, that's the probably the main reason. You know, I wasn't even planning on doing this uh, this fast. Uh, I was actually, you know, on my hometown just a few days ago, and um, right when it was about to end the home time uh, I got a call from, from a friend and uh, he kind of recommended his friend to me um, so you know it was just a very spontaneous uh, decision and instance so you know and I felt like I feel like I uh, got a good gist of what this flatbed world is all about and um, you know thankfully everything was safe you know I didn't get you know knock on wood any any crazy instances on the road with uh, loads and securement and you know it was everything safe and the way it was supposed to be so it was totally um, my decision of uh, leaving this company. The strains keep coming on to me, so that's why I'm kind of winking or blinking weird. Um, so, you know, they say we make decisions, but it depends who you ask. Everything is, in my, in my opinion, is in a way predetermined. Even our free will is predetermined, so all the decisions that we do make is 50 50 uh, in regards to free will and being my own decision so uh, at a bigger picture it's all god's will it's you know the the main producer's will so here we are um, i'm waiting on my uber ride to the airport this is going to be a very quick turnaround um, i just dropped the truck off over there behind these bays and Uber's coming to get me and I'm going to the Birmingham airport and flying to Chicago and from Chicago I'm going to Iowa so and so yeah that's that I mean overall Melton is a great company I would uh, strongly recommend especially for those who are starting in trucking to go to Melton to go to flatbed in particular in my opinion if you can do and if you can bear a flatbed for I mean for six months like myself you can do any type of trucking you know in in one way this is a type of a boot camp for sure, this is uh, the fiercest, the fiercest way to learn trucking is flatbed. Uh, I mean, Melton was my second company. Uh, I started with CRST. I drove teams for two months, which was not my cup of tea. Um, being with another person in the cab for extended periods of time, uh, me having my morning and daily, uh, nightly routines. Uh, spiritual routine so teams was definitely not it so I chose you know a solo driving position and uh, Melton was one of the first options that came around so without a second thought I chose Melton and um, you know went along with it um, it was definitely great while it lasted uh, very 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 few hiccups throughout my six months here 
Uh, it was mostly, I don't want to say anything really, it was, it was, you know, just, and all these kind of, just a side note on anything that happens that does not go our way, it's just a little test to check our awareness. Because in truth, and at a deeper level, it's us doing it to ourselves. So everyone that we interact with, it's us in a different, in a different uh, island or a different, you know, perspective. So everything that happens is for sure good and for the best of the whole. So all these little hiccups, you know, it's just to kind of to check your straightness, purity, awareness, clearness. So overall, great company. Uh, highly recommended to you. Um, there are a few mountain drivers on YouTube that you can check out and, uh, you know, follow them and um, they will refer you to this company. Uh, Mr. By the Mile is one of them and um, there's a few others too. Anyway, um, again, thank you so much for following this journey. I will uh, keep you posted and uh, We'll stay in touch. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. What would you do in my position if you were uh, to off if you were offered a better, better pay, better position? You know, um, I didn't really talk about my new position, but you know, I feel like maybe you would stay. Maybe you would stay with the same company and kind of just keep grinding and. You know, because there's obviously benefits um, which you have to pay for, but the company is also pays the certain percentage of those benefits. So, you know, many people just say, hey, F that. And they don't look anywhere else. They stay with the company because the 401k is here, you know, benefits, insurance, all this stuff. So, um, you know, so they decide to stay. And um, me being me, I just kind of, and I, I go with the flow, you know. I, like I said, I didn't have any... I did have a desire to leave in a way, but I didn't have it to go right this, right, you know, as it happened. So it was just a very spontaneous, yet not so spontaneous uh, move. Uh, yeah, so again, great company, great equipment. Um, they have safety 24 7 to help you guys out if you are planning on being here and um, all these new trucks you know they're switching from these Kenworths to Freightliners now and uh, Peterbilt's uh, they have a great great terminal this is my first time in Birmingham here uh, it's uh, pretty new can't really tell of course but you know it's a uh, well-designed, well-maintained terminal. Look at these nice flowers here. Beautiful. <laughs> El Paso terminal is, you know, it's it's there. It's nice. Uh, Tulsa terminal is awesome. Ohio is just, uh, you know, one building and it's uh, basically a drop yard. So, you know, it's a good, good operation they have here. Um, from what I hear, all the driver managers are great uh, my driver manager Rory was awesome is awesome um, so if you're considering Melton you have to see it for yourself you know even what I say you know it's just my experience but you know I just want to kind of share that but your experience could be different so check it out give them a shot especially if you're new especially if you're coming out from CDL school and um, you know, looking to get into trucking. Uh, a few things that, you know, I didn't particularly enjoy is the 65, 65 mile per hour governed trucks. Um, 
you know, it's just the nature of the business, I suppose. And most companies have government trucks, of course. You know, some have 62, like TMC. Um, you know, CRST had 68 or has 68 mile per hour. So, um, you know, but you would not know until you try it. So, okay, my Uber ride is here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay subscribed and um, keep in touch. I'll keep you posted with my next uh, adventures. Best regards, much love, namaste.